421, and it's time for 3 News Now, so we want to toss things over to our digital anchor, Stephanie Hayes. Hey, Steph, how's it going? Hello, everybody. We've got a lot of fun to talk about today because downtown Cleveland has now announced the first ever Fall Fest at North Coast Harbor, and it starts in just a couple of weeks. Now, this takes place over the first three Saturdays in October at Cleveland's Voinovich Bicentennial Park. So first up is Family Fall Day from 2 to 6 p.m. on October 7th. Flannel is encouraged, but not required for free children's activities, music, and more. Then on October 14th, they're hosting Hip Hey Hooray and Bright Nights from 2 to 8 p.m. with a fall market, a beer and cider garden, food trucks, games, and music, plus a Halloween pet parade at 6. And then October 21st, things close out with the Boo Bash from 2 to 6 p.m. Come dressed in your best Halloween costumes for music, giveaways, food trucks, and a shuttle to other fun downtown family events. Okay, now it's time to celebrate a brand new book from Northeast Ohio's well-known pet photographer, Greg Murray. It's called Gotcha Day, Adoption Tales of Remarkable Rescue Dogs. They're all recently rescued dogs, and there was a launch event yesterday at Bottle House Brewery in Lakewood. There's some pics from that. Lots of familiar faces. There's Oscar Wilde of House McCool right there, our pup, who is absolutely honored to be a part of this. We rescued him about a year and a half ago now. And you also remember, of course, our dear friend, Jason Michael. Well, that's his pup, Pepper, right there, also recently rescued. And our assignment editor, Lisa Lowry, with her pup, Lola. Those are just three of the 64 sweet buddies you'll see in the book. It's the fourth book from Greg Murray. His others are Pitbull Heroes, Peanut Butter Dogs, and Peanut Butter Puppies, and now Gotcha Day, which you can get wherever books are sold. All right, now it's time for our question of the day. We can hardly believe that flying taxis will be ready for people to use right here in Ohio by sometime in the year 2025. That's what we're told thanks to Joby Aviation Incorporated. So we wanna know what other tech advancements would you like to see come to life? Post your comment to the WKYC Facebook page and we'll talk about it during three news at four. Now I don't know about you guys, this has me thinking of the Jetsons. And I just really want one of those machines that you walk through and it brushes your teeth and washes your hair and puts all your makeup on. Yes. So that's what I would like to see. That would save so much time in the morning. <laughs> I literally just wow. said, I don't know. So I agree with you. That's great. <laughs> Matt, what about you? Um, yeah, I mean, I gave you that look for a reason. You did. He literally either. looked at me like. So, uh, <laughs> uh, but I'm thinking of like, wait, what do you call it? Transport? I'm thinking of the Jetsons, but you like walk through and then you come out. Oh, like and teleporting. teleporting. <laughs> what about oh, yeah. teleporting? <laughs> right? I'm going to get off here. So, that's great. That you comes couldn't from think one of my I couldn't, but I like what you said, Steph. That's why we're friends. Thank yeah. you. Got to be fast. <laughs> Appreciate it.